Hey yo, the middleweight unification just got made. Canelo Alvarez versus Daniel Jacobs is pretty much official. It's E King Fight News. And in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to watch this fight absolutely free. And you know what it is. We got more on this. Alright, so the news just broke. Cinco de Mayo is Canelo and Danny Jacobs. Hey, shout out to Canelo Alvarez, man. I thought he'd be fighting David Lemieux at some funny style catch weight. But no. He's going to drop right back down to middleweight and defend his middleweight titles. And not only is he going to defend, but he's going to unify. Oh, that sounds so good. In a fight the Triple G didn't want no smoke with was a rematch with Danny Jacobs. So, um, it's a good look. This is a real good look for Canelo Alvarez. Triple G can get his tune-up bum fight in. And most likely they're going to do a trilogy fight um, of great magnitude. Where the winner of this fight will probably get a Triple G uh, situation. If it's not going to be Gennady Golovkin, then they can move on to other things. Perhaps Jamal Charlo. I'm not sure what the prospect of Jamal Charlo is with these DAZN guys. Maybe Rob Brandt, who is a WBA regular. Maybe a super middleweight. Who knows? But right now, we got a really great fight lined up for 2019. The first of many, I'm sure. You know? Um, great news. Great, great news. Danny Jacobs definitely deserves a shot after his win uh, against Sergey Drevinchenko. He's a guy that basically no one wanted to fight, you know? Andre ducked Drevinchenko. Triple G ducked Drevinchenko. Danny Jacobs stepped up, and rightfully so, he should be rewarded. He should be rewarded. It's a fresh matchup. We haven't seen Canelo versus Jacobs so this fight totally is my stamp of approval shout out to the zone for making it happen uh Danny Jacobs you know played his cards right and he got himself a Canelo fight so that's that's dope that's good to see and how are you gonna watch this fight for free I'm gonna tell you exactly how all right so if you're like me you know you you're thinking several months ahead into this whole DAZN process. And you know, the second you sign up with DAZN, that first month is free. Right? So when, when they got everybody to buy into Canelo versus Rocky bum-ass fielding, you know I didn't buy that shit, right? You, you know I didn't get that free subscription during that time, right? That's right. Because you knew that would be a, a bum-ass, easy work fight where Canelo barely had to train. So, let, let's really get it. I, I, I ain't buying the zone until I see one high-quality fight. And this is absolutely one of them. So, I'm going to hold out until May. And that's when I'm going to get a free subscription to the zone. I'm going to hold out. Until May, and I'm going to catch this fight for free. That's the plan for now. I know AJ is supposed to have a fight in April, but who the fuck knows, right? Now, now all of a sudden, Eddie Hearn is saying he'd love to make a fight where AJ makes an American debut in the summer. Well, we all know the summer ain't April. <laughs> so... So shit, you know, we, we still don't know if AJ is still fighting on April 13th, even though they promoted that shit as a Wembley fight, but you know, it is what it is. And that brings the second part of, of, 
of what where AJ plays into the heavyweight division because a lot of guys are talking A side, B side. You know, oh, hey, Anthony Joshua is so much on A side over everybody. You know, he's like Canelo. <laughs> that's what. That's what. You know, this is what Eddie Hearn is trying to say. Oh, you know, this situation. It's like Canelo, you know? You know, I got Danny Jacobs, and I know he's the B-side, and we're just looking for respect. So my question to y'all is, is Anthony Joshua truly the Canelo Alvarez of the heavyweight division? Is he head and shoulders the A-side above everybody else? When you're talking about Deontay Wilder, when you're talking about Tyson Fury, is Anthony Joshua truly the A-side? And I and I say I'm talking about Canelo here. But is Anthony Joshua the Canelo Alvarez of the heavyweight division? That's my question to y'all. Um and shout out to Canelo. Cause he's stepping up. He's doing what AJ's not doing. And taking on an undefeated champion in the, uh, Danny Jacobs, right? Undefeated, proven champion, ship caliber fighter. N not a guy that's winning vacant belts. N not a Joseph Parker coming off of a win versus Andy Ruiz. And you want to give AJ all that credit after he beats up on Joseph Parker, cashing out his title, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. But hey, you know what it is. He can't fight news. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Canelo versus Danny Jacobs is a done fight. WBC, WBA, and IBF middleweight championships. Saturday, May 4th. Matchroom caught another one with Golden Boy. It's a good fight. In fact, it's a great fight. Shout out to Eddie Hearn for making this one happen. E-Kings fight news. You already know what it is, man. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're out. Give me a shot of tequila, guys. I I'm going to hit one shot of tequila for Canelo Alvarez tonight, man. That's right, man. Ain't no Tecate over here. Give me some fucking Jose Cuervo, fucking Salsa, some fucking limes. Let's get it. I'm going to have a shot to this one. Fuck that 1800 shit, by the way, man. Fuck that bullshit, man. 1800? 1800 can suck a D. Man. Fuck that Patron shit as well, man. I ain't fucking with no Patron, man. Fuck that bullshit. I need some sounds, I'll be alright, man.